right when it came out, yeah. my agent texted me. Agent you. What, I mean, and this isn't, I'm not saying that the season hasn't been good for you, but it's been an up and down season in terms of being, like, been away a bit and that. Was it a bit of a surprise because of that? Uh, no. no. Yeah. I expected to be in it. You were so much last year. Yeah, I was most surprised <laughs> last year. But it's okay. It's a payback. Yeah. So you hadn't made any plans yet to do something else with your weekend? No, I hadn't. What are you looking forward to? It'll be a cool experience to play in that game. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, just uh, maybe uh, seeing how other players prepare for games and stuff they do, practice habits, stuff you can pick up on, and taking incorporate it in your game. I'm sure you've looked at the roster, you know, they're kind of looking forward to playing with or against. Mostly, mostly with, I guess. Uh, I guess the whole world team. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with cottage cheese. <laughs> I'm not afraid of cottage cheese. <laughs> Just gotta yeah, clear the record. Yeah, it's not true. There's been a lot of talk about whether there might be other guys who want to see you think, you know, tomorrow Pascal might be your name, Kyle joining you in the wide desert. Yeah, hopefully Pascal, Kyle, Serge, and then Danny in the three point contest. Hopefully, that's what we're hoping for. Oh, it's more? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, me, I don't really worry about it and not focus on it, you know. Um, Happens, we're great, but if not, it's cool. What would it mean to you if it? Did? Um, it means a lot. It means a lot. You know, it means that you know all the hard work that you put in is, is like uh, paying off, and it's definitely a great accomplishment. You know, um, but for me, like my my thing is like I want to get to the point where like I'm not worried about if I'm going to make it or not. You know, I want to point to the get where it's like there's no question that I'm there. So for now, I'm just you know continuing to work and and uh, whatever happens, happens. Saying it like that, would it be ahead of schedule then? Mm -hmm. uh, you just did, would it be ahead of schedule if it happened? For sure. Yeah. You can see it, you know. I mean, obviously, you know, when you come in, you want to be the best player you can be. And, you know, I put the work in, you know, to be the best player I can be. So, um, if it happens, it would be great. Uh, if not, you know, keep going. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I mean, for sure, you know, um, the, one of the best teams in the league, you know, and, uh, you know, being a starter and playing 20 some minutes a game and, and uh, you know, being consistent all season and, and, you know, I missed like, what, one game uh, so far, so I'll uh, knock on wood. But, um, but yeah, uh, yeah, it, it means a lot, it means it, it mean a lot for sure. Do you guys around the league text you about your chances or talk uh, about it? Text, no, not really, like, yeah. I mean, my teammates, you know, yeah. maybe. Um, and then a couple of guys that I know in the league, you know, like Jojo texted me the other day and, you know, I texted him, you know, congrats. And, and you know, he said, he, you know, we talked a little bit about that, but, yeah. you know, guys that I know a little bit. It's good to see OG get recognized. With the, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I think last year should have been there too. But, um, but um, you know, it's great, you know, to have, you know, Toronto represent, you know, uh, out there. And, and um, it's definitely great for our organization. And, and I think for him too, you know, just his confidence and everything. Yeah, I think Kyle, Kyle will be, and I think he should be. So I, I definitely expect him to be out there. Do you put more weight into uh, a game like tomorrow, knowing that last time you'll see them this season, mm. tiebreaker at stake? Uh, I mean, I, you know, I don't want to sound cliche, but every game is important. But plus, if somebody's beating you in a series, obviously you, you want to be able to, you know, come out there and get a win on our home floor. So uh, definitely a big game. They're the first in the, in the, in the, West, in the East. So, uh, you know, uh, when you have a big team coming down, you know, in your home court, you, gotta, you want to make sure you bring your energy and everything that you got, you know, to, to get a win. You've seen them out three times this year. Mm -hmm. What do you know about them that maybe you didn't two, three months ago? I mean, I think we kind of knew, you know, from the beginning, you know, they established themselves as, as, a, as a really good team. Uh, they want to, they wanna, you know, penetrate and also they have shooters on, on the floor. And, um, you know, we'll just be able to do both and, and, and you know, kind of, Obviously, Yann has been playing unbelievable, and, and the whole team's been playing great. So, uh, it'll be definitely a great challenge, man. Can't wait for those type of games. Mm. 
Yeah, I mean, I think I always had a post-up game, you know, like, I mean, I think, yeah, now on this team, I, and uh, obviously, um, a lot of switching going on in the league, and, you know, having me out there, be able to post up a little bit and, and, and use, you know, little moves that I got. Uh, but, but yeah, definitely something that I'm looking on, I'm working on, and, and you know, continue to develop on that. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. It's something that you know you can use anytime, and and you know just having that advantage and, and knowing that, you know, when they give me the ball, most of the time I get a bucket out of it. Is there more pressure to go quickly in the post just because you know, you know, somebody could be coming to? Right, 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 right. Or, um, I think that's yeah, that's kind of like the, the line that I'm I'm kind of like you know it's like a little thin line yeah. for me, because obviously I always feel like I have an advantage and I want to go quick. But then, you know, you have to like kind of read the defense and, and make sure that you go from slow to fast. And those are the things that I work on every day and, and you know, just trying to understand that. And I think the more I play, the more I do it, uh, the better I'll get. Slow to fast as opposed to fast to faster? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> true. Yeah, I mean, I think it's that, you know, because for me, that's, that's one thing. I rush, you know, some of the times and, 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 and that's what it comes with me being fast. So um, I think I'll take that. But then at the same time, um, you know, I just want to, you know, as I grow as a player, understanding that, you know, you got to be slow sometimes. Watching Kawhi, how he operates and, and the things that he does, you know, um, he's fast but, but slow at the same time. Uh, well, he's certainly a surprising case, I think. Um, and it just goes into a group of, of guys, I think, as I was looking at it, I'd say, you know, he's got a shot here, you know. Um, and, I, you know, I think the strongest case is the, the team's success, and he's been a big part of that. And, and listen, he's... He's been a part of a team that's had a lot of success missing a lot of their key guys, right? And he's kind of been the one guy that's been there the whole time. So you got to pay really close attention to know all that stuff. But that's kind of the, the facts as they are. Did you make any calls or send any texts? Yeah, of course. Of course, yeah. We, 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 I, we hit them all. Hit them all with a case of, uh, of uh, OG and uh, for the Rising Stars game. And then obviously Kyle and Pascal as part of the All-Star game. Yeah. Well, I thought I thought I thought Doug that um, uh, obviously he had a, a he's had a rough kind of go in and out this year, obviously. Um, but I think when you get right down to it and you start looking at the things and, and you're like, well, it, it becomes a numbers game a little bit. And then you look at kind of his his history of last year um, and a couple of really big games this year, I think. He gets he gets into it, yeah. It's good. It's good. Excited for him, man. I hope I hope uh, you know he has as much. Fun. It's going to be really a lot of fun for him. He's going to get a you know see a great group of young players to play with, and and it's, it was a fun game. You know we coached it last year. It was a, it was a good time. Well, it validates that he's a good player, yeah. right? I think people respected what he did last year, and he's a good player. And you and you know listen, uh, as far as like. You know, when I'm looking around at my team, right, and thinking about, you know, geez, Pascal's having a great year, and Serge's having a great year, and Kwai's having a great year, and Danny's, you know, there's a lot of guys having great years, and there's always that, the one weighs you down is, oh, gee, I'm still, I'm still hoping to get him untracked and back, and I'm, I'm expecting him to. You know, it's, again, it's, it's uh, a lot of it is right time, right place, and it hasn't been his, his time this year yet, but there's still a long ways to go, and, and again, I think he still emerges at some point. Of course, yeah. I think I think it's a it was a tremendous honor to be a part of it last year. I think it'd be a tremendous honor to be a part of it this year. There's no there's no doubt. I just think that uh, um, I don't you don't you don't get too caught up in it, right? But I don't think it comes around every day in your coaching career. So if it's kind of there, you want to try to enjoy it and take advantage of it. A few weeks ago, Fred said uh, that a lot of teams seem to be giving up the Ibaka. Well, I think you're. I think you. You're right in what you said. First of all, you kind of got to pick uh, the lesser of all the evils, right? And and if that's what they determine, the lesser of the evils, and then that's what they determine. You know, there's a, there's a lot of teams that do that, right? It's it's a lot of the analytical, non-paint two. You know, they're going to live with that for a long time in a game before they make an adjustment um, sometimes. So, 
I just think that's kind of on the forefront of uh, teams' minds of what, what kind of shots do we want to give up. Well, we don't want to give up rim. We don't want to give up corner threes. We don't want to give up dunks. And then you're left with, well, what are we going to give up then? And, well, you want to give up the, the non-paint twos. Did you imagine the Kyle Surge pick and pop being as big of a part of the offense as it has been? It's almost like a not, foundation. Yeah, not, not, not nearly yeah. as big, yeah. right? I didn't think as big. Uh, um, and, and probably because we just didn't have Surge involved in much of that stuff last year um, when he was playing the four. It was more it was more spacing with him, a lot less screening for him last year. And he's done a really good job, and, our, and I think our coaching staff's done a really good job of working with him on setting, the timing of his setting, actually setting some good physical screens, getting out of them with some good shot prep. Um, and, you know, he's pretty good, pretty confident from that area. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a big one tomorrow. I think I think uh, comes at a good time for us. I think we I think we need to need to see where we are against these guys again. Um, you know, we played very very well the last time. We were highly motivated after a disappointing loss in San Antonio. Um, we are highly motivated again. So it should be it should be a good good test, good barometer. They're very good, right? They're very good, very well coached. Obviously, they present a lot of problems, um, but we need to. Be ready to stand in there and, and go at them. Take it at them tomorrow. Be the aggressor. We're working on something for Sunday for the uh, broadcast. The Super Bowl, I know the answer, but uh, who are you cheering for on Sunday? <laughs> and, and, and I'm a Ram, you guys know I'm a, I'm a big Rams fan. So it's good to, I've been a Rams fan since I've been a little kid. And uh, so, uh, uh, going for the Rams, no doubt about it. Where did you become a Rams fan? Ten years old, eight years old maybe. My whole neighbor, my whole neighborhood kids were all Vikings fans, and I was just again swimming against swimming against the current. <laughs> and uh, I liked James Harris, their quarterback at the time. I went and got a number 12 jersey and became a Rams fan then. Um, and then obviously, you guys, uh, well maybe you know or don't know, I went out and spent some time uh, at their training camp this summer. So uh, got to got to talk to Coach McVay and watch their practice and talk to some other people out there so it was kind of cool little little kid at, at training camp little kid as a fan and uh at training camp this year so it's kind of kind of cool i'll be cheering hard for a team it's fun to have a team to cheer hard for nothing sweeter than beating those guys <laughs> nothing sweeter yep Well, I, I see a lot of similarities offensively, right, in how the plays are called, um, how you organize things. Like, you know, like football is a pretty complex numbering system most of the time, you know, you know the three back through the four hole, things like that. And we kind of do the same, you know, the three man, you know, sets for the four or, or whatever, um, you know, screen and roll involving the one five, 15 or, or whatever. So there's some similarities there. And I, when I, when I talked to him afterwards, I just wanted to talk to him about his process of calling plays, how he gets them to, from, from, from situation to, to, from the paper to his head to his quarterback, you know, and, and how he organized things prior. You know, you know, they got those play call sheets. And, and uh, we talked a lot about play call names. He's got a lot of, a lot of fun, interesting play call names as well. Um, I don't know. I, I, he's an offensive. Um, he's really, really good offensively, right? He's kind of changed, changed the things. I think he went from 30th to first in offense in his first year as head coach. So I was just trying to pick his brain, see if I could learn anything offensively. Well, there's a lot of that too. You know, I think, I think the one thing that I saw, and you know, we saw it the same with Pete Carroll, is the organization. I think, you know, it's really a tremendous organizational job with a football team to watch them go through their day and and again also just their leadership style what motivational things they're doing what team themes they're using um etc so it was a pretty broad broad uh learning experience for me going there they use the same formation almost overwhelmingly but create obviously a ton of things out of that i mean you guys try to do the same with open right did, did you see those similarities or am i 
stretching here? A, a little bit. <laughs> I'm stretching a little bit there. I didn't, I didn't really see, like, like there's some actions, like, that we use. Yeah. Um, and you guys, you guys see some of them sometimes. I mean, you've, it's been a few years now, but you've seen us line up in, like, the, the four across, which we call sweep, you know, a football term where – Everybody's heading one way, and one guy slams on the brake and heads back the other way, sweep counter, or, you know, those are football terms that we use. And, um, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of forward, like, like uh, you know, when they put two receivers on one side and they kind of run that pick action. You know, that's a basketball action, but it's, you know, we usually run them from the other direction. But I don't see why we can't run them coming down the floor like, like you would trying to open up a receiver. So, I don't know, those are the little things that I look at. And, and you know, even, I told you this before too, even... Even when I go watch the CFL play, how they start before the ball snapped. You know, you've seen, I don't know if you've noticed, but we do that some in our out of bounds plays where all of a sudden the referee hasn't quite thrown it in and our guys are moving. That's, I, picked that, I, said, I got that idea watching the Argonauts play one, one day, right? So you just kind of bring it, see what it looks like, and if it works. Yeah, and it's, and it's, uh, so there's some crossover.